Hello everyone, welcome back to Pabli. So in today's video, we are going to understand how to get Facebook messages in Google Sheets. So here, let's suppose that I have a Facebook page for my kitchen supplies business. My objective is that whenever I'm going to receive a new message for my page, then I want to add the same message in my Google Sheet. So now to do this, I need to build an integration between these two applications for which I'm going to use Pabli Connect. So here to do this, my trigger application will be Messenger and the action application will be Google Sheets. So if you want to learn more about this, follow me through the screen. In this video, we are going to understand how to get Facebook messages in Google Sheets. So here, let's assume that I have a kitchen supplies business and I've created a Facebook page for the same. So my objective is that whenever I'm going to receive a new message, then I want to add the message received in a Google Sheet. So now to do this, I need to build an integration between these two applications for which I'm going to use Pabli Connect. So this here is the home page of Pabli Connect. And now as an existing user, I'm going to sign in. But if you're a new user, you can click on the sign up for free button and every month you will get 100 tasks for free. So as an existing user, I'm going to sign in. Now this here is the all applications page by Pabli. Here I will go to Pabli Connect and click on access now to reach my dashboard. So this here is my dashboard and now to create a new workflow, I will go to my right hand side corner and click on this create workflow button. So now in this dialog box appearing, I need to give my workflow a name. So here I've named it as get Facebook messages in Google Sheets. And on my left hand side, you can see that these are the folders which I've created before. So I want to save this workflow in the folder named as Google Sheets. And now here I'm going to click on create. So as I did that, now I have arrived on a very important window which consists of trigger and action. Basically, trigger and action are the two most important principles or concepts of Pabli Connect on which this entire automation and integration will depend. Trigger says when this happens, action says do this. Action is an automated response of your trigger application and in a workflow, you can only have one trigger but multiple action applications. So now moving to my use case, that is to get Facebook messages in Google Sheets. So as my objective is that whenever I'm going to receive a new message on my page, then I want to add the same message in my Google Sheet. So now to do this, I will go to my trigger window and here I'm going to search for Facebook Messenger. Here it is. It will be my trigger application. And the trigger event will be new message sent to page. So this trigger will start working whenever a new message will be sent to my page. So here, now moving to my action window as I want to add the message in Google Sheets. So here Google Sheets will be my action application. Here it is. And the action event will be to add new row because in a new row, I want to add the Facebook message. So as you can see that I've selected my action application and the action event along with my trigger application and the trigger event. So my objective is that whenever I'm going to receive a new Facebook message from a page, then automatically that should be added in my Google Sheets in a new row. So to do that, firstly, I need to build a connection between Facebook Messenger and Public Connect. So here I'm going to click on connect. And now to add a new connection, I've already logged into my Facebook account in one of the tabs and I've opened Facebook Messenger as well. So here I'm going to click on connect. So here I'm going to select my account. Here you can see that the authorization was successful. So Facebook Messenger and Pabli Connect is successfully connected. So now moving to the Facebook page. So here I need to select the Facebook page from this drop down. So here you can see that my page name is Kitchen Cuddles. So here I'm going to search for my page and here it is. And I've selected my Facebook page. So now as the connection has been established, Facebook page is selected. So here I'm simply going to click on save and send test request. So now here you can see that it is waiting for webhook response. That means now I need to do a test submission or record so that the data can be recorded here in the webhook response. So now I'm going to send a message to my page. So now I have opened my page in an incognito window and here I'm going to send a message. So here this is the message that goes as Hello, I would like to know more about Modula Kitchens and I'm going to send this. So you can see that it says sent. That means the message has been sent to my page. Now I'm going to take you to Pabli Connect. So here in Pabli Connect, you can see that I have received a response. So here you can see the name. So this was my another Facebook account name from which I've sent the message. So here scrolling down to the other details. So here is the message which I've sent that goes as hello. I would like to know more about modular kitchens. 
दैट मीन्स द मेसेज विच आई हैव सेंट टू द पेज इज सक्सेसफुली कैप्चर्ड ओवर हियर इन पैब्लिक कनेक्ट सो द फर्स्ट स्टेप ऑफ दिस ऑटोमेशन इज सेटअप दैट मीन्स नाउ वेन एवर आई एम गोइंग टू रिसीव अ न्यू मैसेज ऑन माई पेज दैट विल गेट कैप्चर्ड ओवर हियर इन पैब्लिक कनेक्ट सो दिस ट्रिगर विल इंस्टेंटली कैप्चर द न्यू इनकमिंग डेटा एंड द वर्क फ्लो एक्सिक्यूशन विल स्टार्ट इन रियल टाइम सो एज एव गॉट द मैसेज ओवर हियर इन पैब्लिक कनेक्ट नाउ आई वॉन्ट टू एट द सेम इन माई गूगल शीट्स so to do that i need to establish a connection between google sheets and public connect so here i'm going to click on connect and now to add a new connection i will simply sign in with google so here i'm going to click on continue as this is a secure access and you can see that the authorization is successful so now here you can see that a connection has been established between google sheets and public connect so now moving to select spreadsheet and the select sheet part So here, this is my Google Sheet, which I have created by the name of Facebook Messages. It consists of three columns: first name, last name, and the message, and of one sheet. So now, this is the Google Sheet which I want to use, where I want to add the messages. So here in Public Connect, from this dropdown, I'm going to select it as FB Messages. And as there was only one sheet, so it is automatically selected over here. So now, moving to first name, last name, and the message. So here, I'm going to use the method of mapping. So basically mapping means to insert the data from previous steps so as i've received the response from facebook messenger so here i'm going to map the first name now i'm going to map the last name and now i'm going to map the message as well so as i've mapped all of the details this method of mapping is important so that every time you receive a new response so that can be taken into consideration in these fields if i would have written this information manually in that case this information could have become static which means that it wouldn't change even if i would have received a new response so to avoid that problem we map the information so now as i've mapped the details here i'm simply going to click on save and send test request here you can see that i have received a response and this here is a positive one so now i'm going to take you to my google sheet so now here in this google sheet you can see that in a new row the message has been added along with the details so here is the first name that was devin last name is parker here is the message that goes as hello i would like to know more about modular kitchens that means the message which was sent to my facebook page is successfully added in google sheets in a new row this automation and integration is a successful one that means now whenever a new message will be received on my page then automatically the message will be added in a new row in google sheets not just these applications you can integrate a lot more applications with the help of pably connect so if you have any doubts regarding pably reach us at support@pably.com and if you have any queries you can visit us at forum.pably.com if you have any pricing related query you can visit this link so if you like this video please share it with your friends and colleagues and do not forget to like share and subscribe our channel